good morning. I thought I'd bring you back for the cut from the first video of the goat's milk. So this is uh, not even 24 hours out of the mold. And as you can see, it's still beautiful and white. Now there is some slight variations here with a slight pink I used in blue. And as the air gets to it more, it will brighten up as far as the color. And these are the little flowers. So you can see they're perfectly white. And it'll stay white. So I thought I'd bring you guys back for the cut. How is everyone this morning? I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna slide this little girl over so you can see. I absolutely love goat's milk. Um, it's something that I have to have as a staple in my house. So let me get a rag really quick so I can wipe off my string. It's so early, I hadn't even gotten out of my pajamas, my thermals. I wore some flannels last night because it got down to like 40 something. It was really cold. See, oh, that's beautiful. And as you can tell in here, these colors during with the swirl, these this beautiful, beautiful pink and blue will show up lovely. I love the swirl. I like to make it as, as natural as possible. So this one has no scent, no fragrance oil. Lovely. I did use some colloidal oats and some Tessa silk and some kaolin clay, and those are all great things for your skin. This should be a, a very, very fast seller again, because goat's milk never lasts. It goes very quickly. So if you're looking to get a fresh bar, let me know. This will go out uh, for, or 5.15, it'll be ready, 2020. I'm gonna do another one. I already made a, a, a different one and I want to show it to you in, an, in the, uh, it's in the garage caring and it's a goat's milk also, yet it has color, but it's still kept its whiteness. The color that's there is added from the botanicals and the, and the natural uh, herbs that I used, that I like to use. This swirl is stunning. If you're not subscribed to the channel, why the heck not? Get on over there and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to get notifications of anything like this that I put up. Otherwise, you're not going to know. I try really hard here at the little soap shed to provide beautiful products that are sustainable, life sustainable natural and good for your skin so that's a win-win isn't it i do wholesale orders also if you're interested if you're interested i love making soap i don't just make soap but i love making soap i can't wait to use some of my this goat's milk because i'm completely out Beautiful. That swirl is going to darken. I'm going to put this one there because I just have to cut off a tiny little edge of that. And generally, that's my sample. <laughs> It's gonna be a beautiful swirl, absolutely stunning. Can't wait to see a little bit of the air get to it. See that? The pink, it's just a very light, light pastel that I used some clays for color. 
So that is it on this one. This is the uh, second one that I made. I will place a video up giving you guys a recipe, a free recipe for it. And let me show you the one I made the other day. Okay. So this is the one I made the other day. But as you can see, the white is still in there. It's still beautiful and white. And this is 100% goat's milk too. I just used some really beautiful purples and pinks for the summer. Oh God, what's that face? That looks like a face. That looks like a face. My first thought was like, that looked like Jesus' face. That's like a butterfly effect. I love the swirl. Love it. But as you can see, the goat's milk is still pure white. It didn't change colors. So use the method that I showed you guys. So I have one more to make. One more goat's milk. And I'm going to make that probably, um, oh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow or so. And this is the flower. The, the little one for the sink. And this is the all plain white natural. Uh, this is used uh, with nothing, no fragrance, no nothing, just clays. Beautiful, huh? And then I did a, a little bow tie one. And so there's 10 of this one, 10 of this color, 10 of this color with two sink soaps. And then I'm gonna do up another batch. So, as I've stated before, if I make a goat's milk soap, what I do is locally source my goat's milk. If I can't do that, then I get one that has the least amount of preservatives in it. In the video, which I'll link above, shows you what I have used in the past in some of my soaping when I wasn't able to locally source it in goat's milk. Sometimes it's difficult to source it, right? So... Just make sure that there's no not as a lot of sugars added to that, you know, because sugars burn with sodium hydroxide. It's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. And when people use goat's milk, that sometimes, I don't know, for some reason they like to say, I like it white. <laughs> it stays white. So um, get that. It's in a can. You can get it in a can in a powder form or whatever. Mix it up according to the instructions. Freeze it, get a couple ice trays at the 99 cent store, right? Freeze it the night before you want to make it. I'll post a recipe in the description of the first video. Link will be up there. Comment below. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know how it turned out for you. Uh, it, be careful, though, because once you start soaping, you're going to love it, and you just won't turn back. <laughs> <laughs> you just won't turn back because you make such a beautiful product, right? And and it's so much better than the product that you're purchasing commercially. So, and it's not to make a dig at any of the commercial providers. It's just that you are enjoying making your own natural, self-sustainable, organic product. And it's, it's, you know what's going in it. And it's a lovely thing. This is beautiful. Then you take it out the night you know, the morning that you want to make the soap and you add your lye beads gradually as long as you have your bowl in a bottle or, or a jar of ice or something like that, a bowl in the sink, the sink filled with ice, whatever you're using for your measurement cup, just place that in a little bit of ice. Mix it gradually. Heat up all of your oils. I let my oils get to like 65 to even 75, sometimes even 58. It doesn't matter. And the lye, I match it. Match it temp for temp. And I mix it up, pour it off, and it's never changed. Even when I've used some fragrance oils. This has fragrance oil in it. This is uh, coconut lime. Or uh, what is this? Pina colada. This is pina colada. So uh, it, it, even the fragrance oil performed beautifully in the goat's milk. So uh, you can do it either way. Whatever you like to do, whatever is your preference, is your dig, right? So sound off in the comment section below. If you like this soap and you want to get some, 
This one will be ready uh, next month on the 15th. This one is will be ready on the 10th. And I'm going to make another one. So I'm going to just call all three loaves the 15th. The 15th of May, they'll all be available. I'll post them on my Instagram or Little Soap Shed if you would like one, and I will set it aside. If you email me and tell me to do so and pay for your order, I will put it aside. Not a problem. If you want to get a wholesale order, hit me up in the uh, under my About section. I have emails in the links below. I do a full 10 loaf. For, for wholesale, if that's something you want to do for your family, I love making it. So let me know that as well. Hope you guys are having a blessed, blessed day and you're all staying well during this COVID-19. And you're doing some beautiful, creative and inspirational things in your home with your family and your friends during our social distancing and isolation, right? So I've been creating and working. I'm, I'm working and doing my part. So I got to run because I got to shower and go to work. Namaste. I love you guys so, so much. Recipe below in the other video. Everything is in the description below. Check it out. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. Comment below. Sound off, darling. And give me a thumbs up. This gives Google an opportunity to see that you guys want this content. They've changed their analytics around a little bit. If you don't comment, you don't subscribe, you don't aren't active on the channel, they unsubscribe you. I've lost over, I was at 9,000 something and now I'm at 8,200. 8, so I've lost almost a thousand subscribers due to an analytical change. So please do me a solid and comment, hit the thumbs up, share the video. If you want to see more of this content, then it helps. I love you guys. Peace.